So Meshach and I finally did something today that we've been putting off for a mighty long time and that is purchasing a wedding insurance policy. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys all about wedding insurance, why we decided to get wedding insurance, how it works, some of the things that wedding insurance covers, just to think about whether that might be a good move for you if you are engaged or looking to get married um, in the near future and you just want to start thinking about these kinds of things. Hey Wealth Builders, what is up? It's Akiva. Welcome back to another episode of The Bimuse, where we are making sense of all things money for young adults, just like myself. So if you're into that kind of stuff, I hope you come join the squad by hitting that big red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell while you're at it so that you never miss a single video from us. So first, let's talk about why Meshach and I decided to purchase a wedding insurance policy. As the squad members know, my fiance Meshach and I got engaged a few months ago and we are getting married later this year. We've already booked our wedding venue. In fact, that was one of the first things that we did in this entire process. And toward the end of the year, our wedding venue had a promotion going on where they gave us a pretty sweet discount if we paid a certain amount of money um, toward our contract. So at this point, we basically paid off the majority of our contract with our wedding venue, which obviously is a lot of money compared to our overall wedding budget. So that really got us thinking about purchasing wedding insurance. We're like, okay, now the venue has basically all of our money. We still have a while to go before we get married later this year. And so in the meanwhile, we wanna make sure that the money that we've given to our venue, which is non-refundable, is protected. And so that's what got us thinking about wedding insurance in the first place. Originally getting wedding insurance was not part of our budget, but as we thought about it and thought about all the other benefits that wedding insurance can provide, especially being this far out from our wedding date, we definitely thought that going ahead and purchasing a wedding insurance policy would be a good idea just to protect against all of the things. So how did we even go about getting wedding insurance? So what I basically did was I did a quick Google search as to the best wedding insurance providers out there and there were there was a list that I found that had a few providers there and so I looked at all of them in depth and we ended up choosing a plan that definitely wasn't the cheapest in terms of the premium that we paid for our policy but that fit our needs the best. So I'm gonna run through some of the coverages that the typical wedding insurance policy or at least our wedding insurance policy offers. That doesn't mean that we took coverage for every single thing that I'm mentioning but just know that it is a possibility to get coverage for all of these things. And having this wedding insurance policy in place definitely gives us more peace of mind in case anything happens or we have to postpone or cancel the wedding or someone gets sick or, you know, God forbid, anything crazy happens. There's a hurricane, there's yada, 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 where we can't get our money back from our vendors. We know that we're covered under our wedding insurance policy. So wedding insurance typically falls into two kind of brackets. There is the cancellation, postponement policy, which is what we were mainly concerned about. And then there's also a liability piece. And liability is pretty similar to any other insurance policy you might have, whether that's your renter's insurance policy or your car insurance. It protects you if you damage the property, if someone trips and falls and gets hurt, it helps cover their medical payments, things like that. We actually did not get any liability coverage under our wedding insurance policy, simply because we didn't feel like it was worth the extra cost. We're not serving any alcohol at our wedding, for example, so that's one kind of thing that's removed from the equation right then and there. Our vendors all have their separate insurance policies if anything were to happen in terms of them damaging the place or causing any issues. And so we just felt like it wasn't necessary for us per se to get liability, but that might be something that is of interest to you. And what are the premiums like for wedding insurance? So from what I've seen, the wedding insurance premiums are typically a couple hundred dollars or so, depending on obviously your limits. If you're having a really big wedding, a really expensive wedding, and you're covering you know a lot of costs, then obviously it's gonna be a larger premium than a smaller, less expensive wedding. So now let's jump into the coverages. The first coverage that we have is cancellation and postponement coverage. So for this particular coverage, we put a limit amount that was basically the total budget for our wedding. So that can cover pretty much anything that you would be out of pocket for if you canceled or postponed your wedding. And that includes stuff like renting the venue, any transportation like a limo, the cost of your catering, hotel accommodations in connection with your wedding, if you had to pay for 
your hotel, you know, the night of or the night before. Your photographer, your musician, your florist your dressmaker, your tailor, or the cost to rent professional attire like most guys who rent suits. It also covers your honeymoon. So if you have to push back your honeymoon or cancel your honeymoon for any reason, that's also covered. Your airfare, your accommodations, etc. Of course, as with any insurance policy, there are exclusions. Like you can't just cancel it because of what they call change of heart because you don't want to get married anymore, that's not a covered reason, but a covered reason is pretty much any other thing. If there's a hurricane, if anything happens to you, your spouse, or anybody in the immediate family of those two people, or your officiant, in our specific case, that is grounds for canceling and postponing the wedding, and that is a covered reason. God forbid none of that happens if we have the most amazing, picture-perfect, weather-perfect day with everyone in good health, but life happens and you never know what's gonna come your way and so having this coverage definitely helps gives us peace of mind. So at least we know that if anything like that were to happen, the only really out of pocket cost that we have would be the deductible for our policy in addition to whatever we paid for the premium on the policy. So we're only out not even $2,000. And by the way, that only covers professional vendors, so it can't be like, you know, your sister or your aunt this or your cousin that it has to be someone who's actually in business providing these services. Then there's also coverage for additional expenses. So for example, if we have to move the wedding to a different location that's more expensive, we also have a generous amount of buffer in which the policy will pay out if we have to pay more than what we had planned on before, which is pretty nice. And that limit in our case is a percentage, 25% of our overall cancellation postponement limit. Then we have photograph and video recording coverage. So that covers if your photographer or videographer just doesn't show up, if at, after the wedding their hard drive or whatever they keep their photos on somehow went down the toilet and they don't have your photos anymore, it pays out if that kind of stuff happens. It'll also pay out for you and your immediate family to fly out somewhere and retake the photos if they got damaged or lost, which I think is pretty cool. Then we have gifts coverage. Now we didn't get this particular coverage, but it is available. So if any of your wedding gifts get lost or damaged, you can get coverage for that as well. Next is coverage for rented property. So if you rent things like a fancy chair or something like that, or things for your sweetheart table or decoration or things like that, rented property can also be covered under a wedding insurance policy if it gets lost or damaged. I don't exactly know how you lose rented property, but you know, that ain't for me to figure out. Next is special attire coverage. This not only covers your attire as the two people getting married, it also covers anything for your wedding party's clothing. So if my dress gets lost or it gets damaged, not by a professional tailor, by the way, that's an exclusion, but if it gets damaged in any other way or if it goes lost from a, like a secure place, of course there's, there's stipulations as to what they consider lost and from where, at least I know that's covered. Jewelry coverage is also available, which is separate from the special attire coverage. That is not a coverage that we have, but it is available, for example, if you are buying some pretty expensive earrings or something um, when you are getting married. Next is loss of deposits coverage, and this is really the coverage that kind of got us thinking about wedding insurance in the first place because we put down such a large deposit on our wedding venue. So this covers if our wedding venue went out of business one day and, you know, they went bankrupt and they've closed up shop and they have all of our thousands of dollars that will pay out for loss of deposits and last but not least there is professional counseling coverage this is also a coverage that we did not opt to get but it is available so this is if you have to cancel or postpone your wedding and you're all distraught and you need to see professional help they will pay out for you to go see a therapist so that's just an overview of the types of things that wedding insurance can cover. For us, we chose a really customizable policy where we could pick and choose from each of those coverages and specify the exact limit that we wanted. There are other companies where they only have predetermined limits or it's like, you know, kind of an all or nothing type of deal. So that's the reason why we went with the company that we did. And it was a few hundred dollars in premium, but at the end of the day, I think it's gonna be super worth it just for the peace of mind that it provides. 
If you guys have any experience dealing with wedding insurance, those of you that have either been engaged or married before and want to share your stories down in the comments, you guys know we love interacting with you down in the comments, so leave your stories and thoughts down there. If this is something new that you haven't even really thought about, let us know that also in the comments below because this isn't something that I really had on my radar You know, when we first got engaged. It was really once we put down those massive deposits to our venue that I really started thinking about this. So I just hope this video was helpful for my upcoming newlyweds out there, my soon to be married people, married folk like myself. Even if you're super single watching this video, thanks for being a trooper and watching all the way to the end. Before you guys go, make sure you hit up our merch store and our Etsy shop. We just released some really cool new designs as well. So make sure you guys check that out and get your merch. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.